In Paris today, millions took to the streets in a rally that the country has never seen. They joined hands to send a message to terrorists that their will would not be broken because of the attacks this week. And they held huge pencils over their heads in support of freedom of expression. Good evening and thank you for joining us. More than 40 world leaders attended the rally in Paris amid tight security. They stood shoulder to shoulder and vowed to mount an international effort to rid the world of extremism. We'll get to that in a moment, but let's begin on the streets of the French capital with our Europe Bureau Chief Stuart Greer, who's been covering this story from day one. Stuart. Well, Robin, it's nighttime now here in Paris, and the streets have pretty much emptied out after what was an extraordinary and historic day that saw the largest demonstration in French history. Led by families of the victims from this week's terrorist attacks, a tide of humanity marched in a show of unity and defiance. Freedom of speech is still standing. You, you can't, you can kill it. We'll, we'll stand till the end for that. They came from all walks of French society, from every ethnic group and faith, including Muslims, who are outraged atrocities were committed in the name of Islam. Terror have not color. So this man who killed these people uh, by the name of the religion uh, don't represent me. Chanting and waving French flags, they carried signs like Je suis Charlie, in a tribute to the Charlie Hebdo cartoonists murdered in Wednesday's massacre. The message, we are not afraid. They may be have weapons, Kalashnikov, uh, all of that. We have the more powerful weapon, it's this one. It's a simple pen. More than 40 world leaders joined the rally, walking with their arms linked in a show of global unity against extremism. Leaders from nearby Britain and Germany, and those from Africa and the Middle East. Even Israel's Prime Minister and the Palestinian President set aside differences to march together. People aren't just marching for unity and freedom of speech. There are also calls that civil liberties be protected and not sacrificed in the name of security. It should not be used uh, as a pretext uh, for that kind of uh, uh, negative and uh, useless policies. But France is still a nation on its highest state of alert. Thousands of extra military personnel and police were deployed to provide additional security. This comes as investigators pour over a new video, one showing the slain kosher supermarket attacker, Amadi Koulibaly. He had taped a message before his deadly attack. I pledged allegiance to the Islamic State as soon as the caliphate was created, he said. Authorities are looking for his girlfriend, Hayat Boumedin, but it appears she may have left the country for Syria. Now, there was another gathering here today, this one just outside of Paris. It was the funeral for that police officer, Ahmed Merabe, who was gunned down brutally on the street last week. It was also announced that the victims from that kosher supermarket attack, they will be buried in Israel. Robin. Stuart Greer with our continuing coverage in Paris.